www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got one of my personal guitars that I'm offering. I've uh, been holding on to these Danos for quite a while. Sold one uh, just last uh, uh, week and uh, uh, got another one that I'm putting out. Uh, you know, they shouldn't be sitting in a guitar case in my shop. They should be out there being played. So, hey, I've got one of the neatest Danos you'll ever see. This is a 1964 model 4021 Shorthorn. Now this is the one that has uh, what's called the duck foot or even called sometimes the bat wing headstock. That's that great big old giant headstock on here. Look at there, they even put the strap button up there. I mean, how cool is that? Um, they, uh, um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, they did this big headstock uh, in just a certain number of them. Uh, they built the guitars from 1953 to 66, so this is one of the last ones. And uh, I think they had some of the small headstocks and some of the large headstocks, too. That's why I was kind of uncertain about that. And uh, it's just in beautiful, beautiful shape. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's got everything is all original. The big raised Dan Electro uh, logo is still on it. It's got the, um, look at there, it's got Grover uh, open back tuners like a Harmony. I, I didn't uh, know they did that on some of those. But they've got that. The, the binding on here is absolutely beautiful. We cleaned it up quite a bit. It was brown when we got it. Uh, we cleaned it up and got it back to at least cream. So I don't think you want to make it bright white. That doesn't really look uh, uh, correct on these old guitars. But it's still got all the, the back uh, uh, cover on it. Uh, your adjuster, uh, the original uh, neck screws, it's got the lipstick pickups, it's even got the whammy bar. I mean, those are always missing on these guitars. And then it's also got the stack knobs, which has both volume and tone on them. So, um, you know, the, the simple uh, Dan Electro bridge, which, uh, you know, is iconic, they're still making them today. So, uh, we got uh, the, the lipstick pickups on here, it's a 25-inch scale neck. And it's one and five eighths inch wide, so it's it's not real wide on the neck, and it's very shallow. So they play really really fast. Uh, they don't weigh anything at all. It's only six pounds. So if you're looking for a lightweight guitar, it's hard to find one that's uh, more lightweight than this one. But, but the frets are still in great shape. Uh, we've got it. Uh, we've got tens on it, which uh, you know they would have probably had at least elevens back in the day, if not more. And uh, you know, it's just, it's a great, great guitar. I mean, we get the original case. We'll show you that here in just a minute. I'm on the neck pickup, which uh, just... <laughs> I love this whammy. It's very sensitive. Um, but anyway, the neck pickup is very full. It, it gives you a lot of, of meat uh, for your... Uh, uh, your meaty tones that you want to hear in that neck uh, neck pickup, but then you can go to the middle and pickup is set up just a little bit higher than this one so it gets a little louder as you go back into that middle pickup uh, or the middle position because it's picking up some more of this uh, pickup now you can you can turn it down I'm trying to remember which one is volume Front. 
plays great. Uh, Jeff set it up for us. It's that great, great low action. <laughs> this guitar <laughs> turn down so if that's not cool enough you got to check this out <laughs> Brian says where did you get that case well the case came with the guitar you just don't find these out there anymore I mean this is a super 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 rare case uh, it's a Dano case of course it's got this uh, blonde it's probably white at the at, at the start, and that's turned sort of this yellowish uh, blonde uh, color. It's got leather ends. It's got your latches on it. It's got the original handle on it. Uh, open it up, and it's got this really pretty, oh, what would you call that? Sort of an orangey, pinkish, whatever color uh, that's still padded. I mean, it's a it's really a nice case. But the thing that I thought was really cool about this case, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's even got a little latch on the on the accessory box, and that's still on there. I mean, just what a rare, rare case. I mean, if someone was uh, to offer to buy this case by itself, I wouldn't sell it. It just, it's just, it's super, super rare. Any Dano guy would love to have the case, but you got to buy the guitar to get it, okay? <laughs> so, you get this awesome case with a 1964 Dan Electro Model 4021 short horn duck foot headstock dual lipstick pickup guitar. It's just awesome. I just love this guitar. I've had it for many, many years, and it's time to share it. Hope somebody cool gets it, and I hope that they play it and love it as I have. So check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Hit subscribe while you're here in my YouTube channel. You won't have to worry about finding us anymore. Next month, you'll see four, five more of these pop into your inbox. You can go to www.lawmanguitars.com, see all of our cool stuff in there. It will direct you to our reverb shop, which is where all the guitars are listed. But you can also go to Facebook and go to Instagram. All you have to do is Google Lawman Guitars. You will find us. Tell all your friends. Please subscribe. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll do something extra special, I promise. So I appreciate you watching my uh, videos, and thanks a lot for your support. Appreciate you.